how uh, exciting is it to be able to get a guy like Coach Chad Well coming from a, another uh, G5 program where he's won a lot of games? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously Jamie Chadwell is one of the most accomplished and sought-after coaches in the entire country, and there have been uh, numerous Power 5 schools that have approached him in recent years, and he's uh, been very loyal to, uh, to Coastal Carolina, but I think the opportunity to match him with Liberty in our mission was, uh, was really uh, the different difference maker in this case and uh, I've, I've said to a couple people this week Jamie Chadwell and Liberty University is a match made in heaven and I, I just think uh, he just is a tremendous fit for our, our program and our university. What was the I mean how how big was the coaching how many people applied for it and how many how many did you deserve before settling on Jamie? I, I can't count how many applied for it. I'd, I'd have to go through and add up all the emails and text messages and, and phone calls, but uh, there was tremendous interest. As I mentioned, we had Power 5 head coaches, Group of 5 head coaches, uh, um, people with uh, NFL head coaching experience. There's a lot of uh, individuals interested in this job, and uh, ultimately what we had to do is very quickly kind of boil it down to those that we felt were the the best fits for, for what we need at Liberty University. And the top of that list was Jamie Chadwell, and we were able to get our top choice. When you were going through that process, how, how did you prioritize criteria? What were you saying, all right, these are the must-haves, and this yeah. is how we're going to whittle this down? Yeah, we needed, uh, you know, we need someone who's a great uh, fit with the university, great mission fit. Uh, we need somebody who um, is a strong leader, culture builder, CEO of a football program. We were looking for someone with expertise on one side of the ball and preferably offense, and we want someone with recruiting expertise that could recruit the kind of students we'd need at, at Liberty. And uh, uh, Jamie Chadwell uh, checked all four boxes, and uh, we feel like uh, he's just an exceptional fit and exceptional coach. You said the timeline, you wanted him in place by, Monday, by tomorrow. Being able to get him in place today, how crucial was that? And how it seemed like the conversations had started a, you know, a couple weeks ago. It sounds like from his comments. Yeah, we you know we uh, we anticipated that Coach Freeze could be leaving, so uh, we began um, you know evaluating candidates a couple weeks ago. But ultimately, um, uh, it's critical to have him in place by today with the NCAA transfer portal you know, open on uh, December fifth tomorrow. Um, that's really cr uh, was critical for us, and he had a chance to meet all of our student athletes uh, at a meeting at two o'clock, and that went extremely well. So we feel really good about the fact that our players know who the coach is moving forward. They know his vision, they know his plan, and uh, they're excited about uh, the direction of Liberty football. Is he planning to coach the bowl game? Coach Aldridge and the staff will coach the bowl game. Uh, coach Chadwell is really going to focus on building his staff and uh, finishing up uh, recruiting. Is there has he made a decision on Josh Aldridge yet in terms of? He's going to be meeting with the current staff members and, and other prospective candidates for the staff and expect the staff to come into place sometime later this month. Uh, going ahead, looking ahead to the Boca Raton Bowl, uh, third trip to Florida for this team. How excited is this group to go to that bowl game and play a Toledo team that just won the MAC championship? Yeah, certainly great opportunity for us to play uh, a championship caliber program, and it's a great destination. Uh, we've been looking at Boca the last couple years, thinking that could be a destination for us, and uh, we like warm weather. Uh, we like uh, going to Florida, and I think our team's going to be really excited about it. And came down, I guess, to Boca, Myrtle Beach. Uh, was it just working with ESPN events and having them find an appealing matchup? Is that essentially what it came down to? They did, and, and you know, they uh, we'd gotten a little bit of a hint that they might match us up with the MAC champion, and obviously, again, we've had some success in bowl games and playing a championship caliber pro program. That should be a great matchup on, on ESPN. I'm sure the ratings will be very good, and again, it'll be a great bowl experience for our team. What comments can you share on how Josh Aldridge has handled his job and just keeping things as sane as possible the last week and a half? Yeah, there really isn't a, a blueprint for how to handle a transition like this, and Josh has done just a fantastic job uh, relating to the players, um, keeping recruiting going, and uh, really just kind of managing this transitional period. And uh, really proud of him and really excited for him. Um, I really hope that uh, our team plays hard and, and helps him go 1-0 in bowl games. Can you speak to the, uh, the, I guess, the negotiations or just over the last week and how things have gone with Coach Chadwell? Because I know some other schools have been reported to be in the mix as well and just how it all came about to, to make sure that you landed who you wanted. 
Yeah, you know, as I mentioned, he's one of the most sought-after uh, coaches in the country and uh, certainly has had a lot of op opportunities. Um, I think, again, we really zeroed in on him and uh, because of the uniqueness of Liberty, because of his faith and his desire to be a Christian university, uh, I think that's what really what uh, allowed this to come together, and uh, we couldn't be more excited to announce him as our head coach today. And it sounds like you're willing to maintain the commitment of being having a coach staff and resources that are the highest of the G5. Was that something that was appealing to him, that he can now have resources to really build a program? Well, that's exciting for me, is when you put an outstanding coach together with uh, a university that has a strong commitment to football, our resources, our facility, the nucleus of our team, I think we're set up to do some really special things in the years to come. And, and uh, um, you know, this program, and again, that's a credit to our uh, Dr. Prevo, our university leadership, uh, they've invested in, in Liberty football, and that gives us an opportunity to compete for conference championships and compete for uh, uh, the opportunity to, to uh, participate in the expanded college football playoff. And how imperative was the Rose Bowl's decision to be part of that and have the college football playoff expanded? by 2024 instead of having to wait to 26 with the new media rights deal. Yeah, we're excited about that. Obviously, again, that's something that uh, is a goal for our program right now. So to be able to reach that goal in 24 rather than 26 uh, certainly gives us a lot more to work towards and uh, a lot sooner.